What happened? Did you click on the save as option? Yeah, and I already saved it. You saved it. Oh, okay, great. Okay, then I'm going to I'm going to go to my folder courses, and I see kids and Excel, and here I'm on my exe one. Then I will save it as e Excel SX type. Okay, Excel workbook, Excel SX. Make sure you save it with Excel SX extension. Okay, now you can see the name is like book one. Okay, I will keep that name like that. By the way, I just saved it. Will be done? Amiru? Yes, I did. Okay. Now, I'm going to go for advanced technique. Okay, this is just a Excel workbook. Now, go to file again. Same thing, go to file again. And then click on this save as option again. And browse. Here, now we have to select a different type. Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. We have to select Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. Today we are going to do about macros. Think you got this, you got this thing? Excel SM? Okay. Just click on this type and then the extension will be changed. You know there are, there are two types of uh, things that you have to know about files. Okay. First one is file name and the second one is file extension. So file extension will be changed to Excel SM then. Okay. Now just click on this save button. Then the workbook will be saved as Excel SM, which is called Excel Macro Enable Workbook. Okay, what is that? Now you should be able to see both Excel SM and Excel SX, right? Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is you have to click on this view tab here. View tab, you got it? View tab. Do with this. First you have to save this file. I mean, this is a workbook, okay? This is an Excel workbook, not a sheet. This is called a sheet, but the whole thing is called as workbook. We can get some sheets like using by using this addition mark. Just now, just go to sheet one. Just go to sheet one. And then click on file. Here, file. And click on this save as. Save as. Whether you click on save or save as then click on this macros here you can see the macros option right just click on the drop down okay then you will be able to get the macros sub menu view macros record macros and use relative references so here click on this record macro option record macro did you get something like this record record macro window yes i do okay now you have to give a name okay you have to give a name you have to provide a name i'm going to provide a name like my first macro so i'm using capital letters for each word okay my first macro and then i'm going to can execute this by using the shortcut key control j if we press the control j then something will be happen Hindi done okay now you can type any description you need, but I'm not going to type anything. Now I'm going to click on this OK button. That's all. OK button. I save it. It will be tracked. Okay. It will be tracked. That's the point. Just go to this macros option again. Now you can see there's a button called stop recording, right? Don't click it. Just go there and see the stop recording button. You can see that, right? Okay. It means now the recording has been already started. Now let's do something like this. First, you have to hold the control button and then scroll the mouse no, yeah, TV. just press it then let me know what happened what happened then you know the what happened how come we are there uh, nothing happened but now no windows right uh, no uh, i think we have to Use a different name. Yeah, yeah. Actually, when you use a name, you you can't keep some spaces. Okay, just type something like this. First, go to these macros and then click on this record macro. Here, without spaces, you can type anything. I mean, if you need to type test one, like this. Just type like this. Test one. T E S T. No spaces. One should be O N E. No spaces. Okay. Now this is the thing. Okay, we are going to run this on a different sheet. Okay. We are, we are not going to do this in the same sheet, but however, you can select this and then click on this run, run button. 
then it will do something but you can see the change right you can see the change just select this test one or maybe whatever you recorded okay you got a name here right and then you can click on this run button how many you got something like this right not the same name yeah just click on it and then click on the run button then it will work actually it will be like a flashlight okay actually if something happens something happens that's all but you can see the real output there now go to sheet 2 go to sheet 2 okay. if you don't have a sheet then you have to add up at one sheet 2 here you go to sheet 2 here in the bottom of the workbook this place i got a sheet 1 and also if you need a, need to add a sheet then you can click on this new sheet button and then you can add a sheet another sheet just go to there go there and now click on this macros option here again view macros and then you can run the macro you recorded now you can see the whole process repeated automatically actually it's it's not a copy paste thing tiridi just go to view again and then go to macro yeah. okay then you can see the edit button there right i did i did it sir okay now you can see the code why the just th just the thing is microsoft visual basic for application this is called as microsoft visual basic for application you got this right amiru yes okay now what is this actually i know that you did python before right you did you all did python so you just coded some python applications right using chat gpt or whatever you got by the way this is something like that here you can do any type of programming thing i mean if you got any idea to do something okay then you can code here but the problem is actually just think you don't know how to code but you can use chat gpt to write some macros there okay actually this is called as vba visual basic for applications this is called as vba like right? just go to chat gpt i will show you how you can do that and especially first of all you have to close this one the value got if you don't have that thing then you have to type 20 in, on the a1 set okay so now go to sheet 2 sheet 2 and again you have to click on this view tab here view tab view and click on this macros macros view macros view macros you have to view macros and then you can see something like copy and multiply value it's the same thing that you got on the code sub then space you can see the copy and multiply value function there so it's the same thing you can see there right okay. it means that if we insert a module and then we paste the code there so we can see the macro okay we can see the macro it means we can run it so just press it just click on select on it and then click the run button there run then to uh, waste about 10 hours or 8 hours for work okay this code i mean vba or macros will reduce that time to maybe 10 minutes maybe one minute or maybe two minutes you got eight hours for that work but you will be able to reduce that time into what one minute or two minutes or five minutes that's a thing that you can get from this actually as a benefit you can get more benefits by using this vba code but you have to practice it well okay i will i will uh, send you the recording for that then you can uh, check it and then you can do it again and again and also you can uh, ask to chat gpt to write this code to maybe uh, draw a border maybe uh, uh, use some values random values for, from a1 to uh, e5 like that okay if you give chat gpt instructions to write a code uh, to generate random values from a1 to e5 then after running that code you will be able to see a1 to e5 got some numbers random numbers okay whenever you click on the macro then it will generate some random numbers so that will be happen okay by the way ask chat gpt to become an expert of vba act as an expert in vba that's all it doesn't expert in vba visual basic for application and then presenter so i will send the prompt for you Okay. Now it says, sure, I don't know what is this name. <laughs> How can I assist you with VBA today? Are you looking for help with a specific project or function? Or do you need a general overview to get started? Let me know what you need and I will be happy.